The acting career of Lee Yumi is full of what she likes to call slow but sure steps that led to the global fame she has now. And to know more about her, watch this video till the end because in today's video, we will tell you 8 shocking things you didn't know about Lee Yumi. Number 1. She made her film debut in 2010. The first time Yumi scored a movie role was in 2010 for The Yellow Sea. Here, she appeared as the daughter of Kim Taewon, a mischievous businessman. Recalling what she did for the audition in a 2022 interview, she said, I believe, I did a crying scene. I remember wiping tears off my face with tissues. The actress also shared that she was still a minor when they were working on this movie, so she was unable to watch the premiere in theaters. Number 2. Her first K-drama appearance was in Assorted Gems. The path to stardom did not come instantly for Yumi. In 2009, after a commercial stint, the actress made her first ever appearance in a K-drama as an extra in Assorted Gems, which aired for one season in NBC. This show is a light-hearted drama that tells the story of the Gung family's four children. Number 3. She used to work as a delivery writer. Although we often see celebrities posting about their glamorous lifestyles on social media, there's no denying that the job of an actor may not be as stable and easy as it seems. To be able to reach ultimate stardom, there is a need for constant projects, countless auditions, and round-the-clock rehearsals amidst the other priorities they have in life, which for Yumi was her part-time job. Number 4. She became close friends with her Squid Game co-star Jung ho Yun. Aside from the fame she was able to gain in Squid Game as Ji Young, aka the crowd favorite, player 240, Yumi was also found a lasting friendship with Jung ho Yun. We are of the same age and we had a lot in common. Something sparked ever since I met her, she said in an interview with Esquire Korea. We became close friends on the first day. We discussed about acting a lot, meet at the cafe and have tteokbokki together, she said. Number 5. The film Herb inspired her to pursue acting. Acting has always been the dream for Yumi ever since she was a child, and one of the things that made her so passionate about it is the 2007 film Herb. In an interview, she said that Kang Hye Jin inspired her to learn more about playing out different people as an actress. The acting in the movie was shocking. I was in awe and it looked fun. I was so drawn into acting, she said. Number 6. Her favorite movie is Memento. One of the reasons why Yumi has natural talent for bringing characters of grim, unsettling shows to life may be because these types of productions have always had a special place in her heart. In an interview, she talked about her favorite movie called Memento, a suspenseful thriller directed by Christopher Nolan. Number 7. She's managed by Varro Entertainment. Yumi is currently handled by Varo Entertainment, an agency established in 2020. This company is also home to the talents of Byun Woo Sok, Gong Sun Yeon, Park Jung Woo, Jin Gu, and Lee Jin Ye. Number 8. She got her first acting award 11 years after her debut. One of the many things we can learn from Yumi's successful career is that dreams have no deadlines. Before bagging her first Best New Actress Award in the 2021 Boyle Film Awards, she made sure to take her time with establishing a name for herself in the Korean entertainment industry for years. The movie Young Adult Matters became the talent stepping stone in attaining her first ever acting award. So, that's it for today's video. Did you enjoy today's video? If yes, then like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos.